Hi, welcome to another video from Dispomed. Today, the subject, are your leak tests sufficient? When we perform our leak tests, we obstruct our patient circuit with our thumb or a plug if we have one, and we can press on the, we close the pop-off valve. We press on the flush valve and we increase the pressure until we reach approximately 30 centimeters on our patient circuit gauge. We observe the gauge. If the gauge does not fall, we have no leak. Now, if we have a leak, for instance, here, observe the gauge, it's dropping. Now, what you do is you increase the flow on your flow meter until it stops dropping or just slightly increases. At that point where the needle is stabilized, that's the quantity of leakage that we have. If our leakage is higher than 200 milliliters, the leak is too big. Now we did our leak test, we corrected all of our leaks. Are we ready to use our anesthesia machine? When we're working with our patients, our patients are breathing spontaneously. So since they're breathing spontaneously, the pop-off valve is open. Now I have my flow meter set at 500 milliliters per minute. My pop-off valve is open, this machine is completely gas tight. How come my bag's not inflating? Am I ready to do the case? You'll notice that if I close my pop-off valve, watch my bag. It's inflating. And now it's co completely deflating. Why? So we have a problem. We either have a problem with our pop-off valves or we have a problem with our gas evacuation system. Now, it'll be important to be able to determine which is it. Is it our pop-off valve or is it our gas evacuation system? My bag is flat. If I disconnect my scavenger tube and observe my bag, does it start to inflate again? Yes, it does. So since it's starting to inflate, my problem is not with my pop-off valve, it's more with my gas evacuation system that's not properly balanced. Performing these additional tests will ensure that you don't have any problems during your case. Thank you for watching our videos.